MetaHoney Honey Colloid comes in two versions. The adhesive version is occlusive, like a traditional hydrocolloid, having a thin film backing and an adhesive border. The non-adhesive version is not occlusive and requires a secondary dressing to hold it in place. Both versions absorb light to moderate amounts of exudate. These dressings are used for superficial to full thickness wounds. After properly cleaning and preparing the wound, we are applying adhesive MetaHoney Honey Colloid onto this leg wound. The adhesive version should not be cut. This skin-friendly hydrocolloid formulation may overlap the wound edges and contact healthy skin. Remove both sides of the film backing and place the dressing onto the wound. Make sure the adhesive edges are firmly in place. Finally, remove the top film from the dressing by peeling the flaps as indicated on the dressing. After properly cleaning and preparing the wound site, we are applying non-adhesive MetaHoney Honey Colloid to this traumatic wound. This non-adhesive version may be cut to fit into the wound bed. First, open the honey colloid dressing and remove the plastic film covering from the dressing. Then, cut the dressing into strips that will fit into the wound bed. Now that the MetaHoney Honey Colloid is in intimate contact with the wound bed, you are ready to apply the secondary dressing. Here, we use BioGuard Island dressing, which has an adhesive border and requires no additional taping. 